I've left the house twice in four months. I am everywhere, but I am nowhere. And from that standpoint... Yes. <laughs> She's like, give me, the, give me the fun part, man. Yes. <laughs> nowhere, every year, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. I've been asked about this. I've been asked to talk about it. So I'm going to do just that. And I'm talking about this Oprah interview that everybody's talking about where she interviewed Meghan Markle and Prince Henry, where they were dropping bombshells all these bombshells all these tidbits out there that got people shocked i'm just amazed that it took oprah to go out there and tell the world that the royal family is racist what 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 <laughs> what a surprise what? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god you mean the royal family is racist oh. <laughs> yeah people get the get the out of here what? is the world is, <laughs> is the is the is the world really that stupid to where oprah got to break news about the obvious I mean, it should have been known to everybody. But because Oprah told us, everybody was like, <gasps> what the f*** is going to happen next? What, she going to interview Aquaman to tell us that the that fucking water's wet? <laughs> Hold on now. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. <laughs> what? Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting... Oprah... She, Oprah is acting, man. She is acting her ass off. That's one of them dramatic pauses that you do in movies. You see that shit? What? Get the fuck out of here. No. She's counting. She's like, one, yeah. two, three. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what they call in acting a beat. <laughs> All right? People, this is some stage shit. Look. You can be naive about a lot of shit. You can play stupid about a lot of shit. But if, let me tell you this, if anyone's going to be racist out there, it's going to be the royal family, y'all. Let's not be dumb about this, man. Because, because the royal family, they're not just, they're not just racist. They're that down home old fashioned <laughs> they're, or, or original recipe colonizing racism. They're the Rock. whitest whites. They're the original racism yeah. out there. That OG racism yeah, out there. Yeah, endless man. Saxon stuff. They're, awesome. the, they're, they're the people that Black Panther meant every time he yelled out, colonizer. <laughs> you know? It's like, yes. Yeah. Uh, did somebody call? <laughs> Get the f Are you serious, people? You know, this is an interview where Oprah interviewed Prince Henry and his his wife, Meghan Markle. And if you look at Meghan Markle right there, believe it or not, yes, she is black. She is half black half at least. Black, half yeah. black at least right there. So this is uh, Oprah talking to Meghan Markle, who is a half black woman. And believe me, that is more than enough for them and all of the problems that she went through trying to fit in with this organization. Look, the problem is a lot of people, they look at the royal family and people still have all these fairy tale fantasies about the royal family. You know, like they actually still fight dragons and save princesses and shit. Yeah, they think it's like a Disney story or something like that. Yeah, that's what they, that's kind of how they treat it, man. They think that they are watching a live action Disney movie. Mm -hmm. They think they'll watch. Y'all think this shit is really magic, man. You thought that the moment that she she kissed Prince Harry, she would twirl around with sparkles and then she would just she would turn white. All that half blackness would just melt all over <laughs> like a frog princess. The <laughs> hundred percent <Yeah>. white. <laughs> Y'all thought no. something magic was going. You all of a sudden you thought that black hair was going to turn blood. 
She becomes a Disney princess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, and but and trust me, it ain't that fucking magical because if it was, the royal family would they would have went out there and found a sorcerer to turn this woman into a frog, and they would have threw her ass down the toilet. I could give a f less about the royal family. Not that I wish anybody bad who's doing right over there. And believe me, there's some shady shit happening. But anybody doing right, God bless you. I hope you have a good life. But for the most part, fuck them all. Because I don't understand what the importance is. And the reason, you know, I understand the importance if it's for people who are associated with them. There's a business to it. You know, and let's just say people that look like them. Okay, you relate more than I do. But I would even ask my British friends, Oz. I would mm. say, what the fuck? I mean, let's just take color out of it or anything. What the fuck do y'all really care about the royal family, man? What do they do? <laughs> you mm, know? They just own a lot of land and a lot of shit. It's a legacy. That's what it is. It's a legacy passed down from generation to generation that you were just born into. I, I mean, maybe they do more. I don't know. They're kind of like Illuminati in a way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for all the British people out there, to be honest with yourselves and be honest with me, do y'all really give a fuck about the royal family? I mean, besides the the way you would just idolize a celebrity. Yeah, y'all y'all understand where I'm coming from Oz. What you got to say, man? Yeah, fuck all of them. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> that's, that's first and foremost, you know. Again, but that's that's coming from me growing up in the states and not understanding that whole thing over there. You know what I mean? It's kings and queens, man. And what did kings and queens have, man? Fucking slaves, B. And we still doing this? Yeah. So why yeah. am I supposed to be like, oh, my God, it's the queen. Fuck you, queen. You know what I mean? Because you still, you know, uh, you know, embody that bullshit that, you know, we trying to get rid of, you yeah. know, and yet do this remarkable interview. You're showing me the shit that I already know that this is the, this news of racism that's coming out from them. Why is that surprising you? I got something I want to ask y'all because I knew this for a year. For, for years, man. You know, I'm not going to... I don't like them because I never felt like this was... If you just take them as a family, I just never felt like this was a family that would ever properly respect me. <laughs> you know, do you think... Do you think they'd ever... Ever? Do you think they'd ever let a black man marry into that family? I'm going to tell you, Meghan Markle, she barely squeaked by because she passed some sort of fucking paper bag test with them. Because if she had been darker, they would have told Prince Harry, fuck no. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that they have to let anybody up in their family. Now, that's not what I'm saying. Because everybody's like, well, why, why do they have to, Corey? Because you want to. I didn't say that they have to. They can marry who they fucking want to. I'm just telling you that they, they, they wouldn't want anybody like me because, again, I'm not seen as somebody of value. I'm seen as a lesser person to them. You know, it, it, I'm, I'm seen as less than others. So that's yeah. why I say I've never. Why are y'all surprised about this? You just got to ask yourself that one question. Would they let a black person up in there if they were darker than uh, uh, Meghan Markle? And if there was a time they wouldn't even let her up in there. I don't know how the fuck that got uh, that got passed. But ask yourself that. If the answer is no. Then a shitty family. You know, I'm yeah, sorry. They, they don't are, respect man. me. Come on. Like Princess Diana died. We don't know how. But like we we know that she died when she was pregnant from an Arab guy, and next thing she got that she died. You know? Yeah, I mean, so. no, look, we, we don't know for sure, so I'm not gonna say anything that's alleged. But I mean, listen, would you? That's alleged, would you be surprised? Would you be surprised? <laughs> would you be surprised? Any, I feel bad for anybody. It, it must because it really wore her down. It's gonna wear any anybody down when you are in this rigid environment where you're also surrounded by a lot of racism. I mean, living, from what I understand, I'm not making excuses for them, but living the royal life I hear is, is very strict. And it's very hard because you got to always keep an image up for people. You always got to follow protocol. I would, I would so never So many do. rules and you're not free at all. Like you cannot do anything. You cannot have a social media. You cannot even use a red nail polish. Really? I didn't yeah, even know that's that. that's a rule. You cannot. You can only Ugh. use like pale colors or some shit. So like it's that. so strict, man. And they got all these protocols just to put up, you know, airs about royalty, so they can just keep this image up to people, which serves fucking nothing, if you ask me. But uh, so, I, but to, to, to have that compounded by being surrounded by racism, yes, I I do, I do feel bad for. Her. I mean, I can I can only imagine how that pressure must have been. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. So were you 
thinking of harming yourself? Were you having suicidal thoughts? Yes. <laughs> now, this is where I don't want to seem insensitive to what she went through because I'm not. I, I, I have so much sympathy for her. But I also got to ask, I got even got to ask her, what the fuck did you think was going to happen when you went to live and try to fit in with the royal family? They, you know these people don't like... They don't, they, they, you know these people don't like people of color. I don't give a fuck if you're just a shadow of blackness. They don't like that. You knew this. I mean, British society even kind of has an influence from the royal family to where they are racist themselves, man. You know, here's, I'm, I'm, a, you know, I'm looking at this and what they did. Even the press came out. They were using all kind of urban slang to like throw at her and, and mock her. When they had Archie, Baby Archie, you had people reporting Royal Baby leaves hospital and they put up pictures of two people with a monkey. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> you know, look, I don't know her. I can't really say what was on what was in her mind, but I can't speak for a lot of people and I wouldn't be surprised if some of this went for her. Everybody was falling for that fallacy, man. Every, everybody thought that, you know, uh, uh, that she would be fine because she's well spoken, she's smart, she's she's an actress who is and not just a starving actress, she's actually a legit actress who was in a popular TV show. Mike Ross? Hi. I'm Rachel Zane. I'll be giving you your orientation. She's light skinned. Did, 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 did. And people thought that because of that, and I wouldn't be surprised if she thought this a little bit herself, that, you know what? I'll pass. And people don't understand, man. Like I said, all this past shit, don't, this past shit with people, it don't exist. All that people know is that you are black, no matter how light-skinned you are. Obama was not the first black half white president, he was the first black president. <laughs> you know, I guess technically that is true. But to a lot of people, that whiteness did not count for them at all. They didn't even want to acknowledge it because as far as they're concerned, that whiteness was sullied. It was it it, it was it was polluted. And that is why he, he was considered mainly black. And that's why nobody's ever gonna say you're half no but you notice everybody's they go with black. Nobody even when they have black half white, nobody says, Oh, you're white. You know, as always you're black. So one drop rule still going on. The one drop rule. Thank you, Mia. The one drop rule. So people, I don't know what everybody thought about this fucking fairy tale that she was going into. And also, and I'm not even bullshitting. There is this whole image that even dark skin does not belong in fairy tales. I'm talking about the fake shit. As I said, you. How long did it take to get a black princess? up in a Disney movie, and even then, that was the new millennium, and even then, they still kept her a frog through most of the movie. <laughs> I mean, come on. You know? Yeah. I'm... Go ahead. Oh, me? Oh, yeah, no. No, uh, as far as, you know, Meghan Markle and what she was thinking, and nobody knows, only she knows what she was thinking, but at the same time, she's hanging with, you know, Harry. He's down to earth. He's showing her yeah. a good time. He's keeping her away from this, right? So as she's going through her thing, maybe she's like, you know what? If he's cool... And these other people are cool. You know what I mean? And then you get to a point where, like, you know what? We're going to meet grandma. Do you know how to curtsy? When they <laughs> ask her that. Yeah. And you're like, do I know how to what? Can you spell that for me? Well, you got to do that. You know, there's, there might be a problem ahead for you at that point. But again, I, I believe that maybe he was probably keeping a lot of this shit from her to, to her for her to believe like, wow, OK, shit, this, this, this dude's cool. Why not? Yeah, I can you know see what that. Mean? And then shit started to get real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, she yeah I been... so I believe that's how you know she was able to dupe herself into thinking that you know this this could probably fly. I thought this is what everybody should know, man. The royal family is something where, you know, they they have a history. You know, they, they their whole legacy is built probably on the slavery of others, man. Slavery and incest. Slavery and yeah, <laughs> a bunch of, <laughs> bunch of Joffrey's running around and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's how, how you keep the the, the the queen blood and the king blood, you know, the lineage uh, pure. You got to mate some people who have the same lineage, man. That's how that works. Yeah. Not not only does, you know, the, 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 the royal family have a deep history where their imperialism is built on colonization and slavery. Because that, look, that castle, 
that you see them having all these these fairy tale weddings in and whatnot. Palace. Pa- palace. Those palaces were built by trolls for them, or goblins, aka they for them, black people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were built by slaves. All and right? all the money came from colonized places, you know. Yeah, exactly. Surprise, you know, surprise. Uh, yeah. So that's why I'm like, they have this whole hair, and they've tried to kind of sweep it under the rug, whitewash it after a while, literally. Mm. But you know, they they. That's why I'm like, man, you know, these these people are known for this. Why, why would you not know what these people are about when you're getting in there? But maybe. Maybe I just I just know that yeah they've stolen stuff from other countries and made the made their empire their imperialism stole, stole stuff and labor yeah even the, the the media over there and everything like this just they're this, horrible they're they're horrible man they're horrible it's, they are it, you know they're putting the burden on her she's poisoning the family she's she's you know she's the one causing trouble they the thing is they were never ready to accept her and they'll go they'll go in hard on her but. Cover up for a goddamn alleged pedophile, man. <laughs> hey, but at least, at least he's not black. <laughs> and he family. This is Prince Andrew, man. If y'all ever looked at the Epstein documentaries, mm, and yeah. you know, I mean, again, this is alleged, but come on, man. There's a lot of stuff out there. So, I mean, you make your own decision, but they had to. You notice you don't hear nothing about this dude. They keep him under, they keep him under wraps. And it's been after so many years of these kind of other uh, talks and stuff. Like, this guy who's been doing this kind of yeah. pedophile shit for the yeah. rest, I don't know, 50 years or something. Yeah, and I think, I mean, all you got to do, I mean, good for Prince Harry finally, you know, kind of. This is why I say people can change, man, because I think they, the royal family had an influence on Prince Harry. I mean, Lest we forget that not too long ago, Prince Harry was in the pro- the, the, the the tabloids for wearing a Nazi uniform at a mm-hmm. costume party. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, come on, man, this shit runs in the family. Yeah, Harry was always the like the rebellious one yeah. in the family because he's the youngest one and he had no chance on the crown. So exactly. he's like nobody cares about him that much. He's on the side. And he's, he was more sensitive because his mother died when he was younger. Yeah. So, you know, it was just. So he like, said, you know what? I'm going to rebel to the point I marry a black chick. Well, at least I have a black chick, you know. <laughs> and, and, and leave the royalty and talk about it to the most famous American talk show people. I'm just going to fuck with you guys. I'm going to show you. I will say that is some true gangster shit, man. He's like, I, I, I was never going to be king anyway. Yeah. Unless I want to pull some Game of Thrones shit and kill my brother. But, you know, no. he said, like, I was never going to be king anyway, so fuck. All y'all, man. Even if he kills his brother, then he has to kill his brother's sons and everything too. So I'm marrying a black chick. I'm going to America, and I'm talking to the most famous black chick over there. Yeah, over. <laughs> and uh, leaving the family. And fuck it. Fuck all. all y'all, man. So I gotta say that was some real gangster shit. Yeah. And and trust me, man. I'm not sitting up here trying to make this sound like I'm callous towards Meghan Markle. I'm actually cool with Prince Harry doing what he did, man. I'm just, like I said, I'm just surprised that people are, I'm insulted that people are shocked about these claims of racism and whatnot when they know this family is kind of crazy. <laughs> and furthermore, I think, that, like I said, man, it, this, is a, this is a hard life to be in. I mean, let's just take all the racism out of it. And once you hear about how the royal family lives, to be a royal, that's a, that, you you might as well be back in school. You're a grown person who has to follow all these rules. You might as well be in some sort of royal uh, 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 basic training or something. I remember so often people within the firm would say, I've left the house twice in four months. I'm everywhere, but I am nowhere. And from that standpoint. Yes. <laughs> She's like, give me the give me the fun part, man. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> Nowhere every year, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, that is that people, can you imagine living that kind of life? Now imagine living that kind of life. Like I said, I feel listen, they're gonna be fine. Now they escaped. I would get the fuck out of there too. They were they were prisoners. They were prisoners, yeah. Yeah, like you just you just belong to this company in a way. You're twenty four seven belong to them and you gotta do what they tell you to do. It's just... <laughs> Somebody said, now if you look under your chair, Megan, you'll get freedom. Harry gets freedom. <laughs> Everybody gets freedom in here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's almost like Meghan Markle is a runaway slave at this point from there. I would have got the hell out of there, man. That is insane to me. So, yeah, people. At least her husband was on the same page as her, you know. 
so she didn't have to live by herself like yeah. they left together and also like uh, it's not a surprise for us but I still I'm still kind of happy that this happened so yeah. all these people around the world watching these like oh the British royalty and shit at least they kind of know that what's going on behind the curtains like this really put their image even lower now mm-hmm. than where it should be and I think this is like come on man. we're living in 2021 we're trying to go to mars and shit just let this shit go royalty exactly. and all that stuff exactly <laughs> yeah. i mean i think the people who are shocked are people who still aren't going to believe it anyway so you know there's no there's no win in this thing no. because if you're shocked like oh it's that's an exaggeration somewhere there's no way so you know this is <laughs> hopefully somebody gets something out of it and realize okay yeah these people are full of shit They'll be able to spin this some kind of way. They, they're they very powerful people. So, I mean, that's fine. Whatever. And like I said, people are just going to look up to the celebrities. And they're going to they're gonna look up to celebrity no matter what. So it, it's, They're going to make their own narrative for them. You're yeah, right. exactly. And plus, we live in an age where people just make up shit. They don't yeah. care about facts anymore. Mm, <laughs> you know, no, you could, not at all. You could show them video. You could, show, you could put evidence in front of their face. And people just like, nah. That's not real. They're on a dangerous spot, too, because uh, when they left the family, the royal family didn't accept to, uh, like, secure, like give them security. And, like, they're kind of like a target. You know, imagine, like you're, uh, like, you're, like, a British person who supports the crown or whatever, and then, like, you can be crazy to try to kill them or something. So they have to have security at all times yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, and you got... I've heard about this... Piers Morgan, man. Piers Morgan is such a smug bastard, man. He's such a piece of shit, Piers Morgan, sometimes. Piers Morgan can say some cool things sometimes, and then Piers Morgan would turn around and say something absolutely just stupid, man. Mm. He's been making fun of them all day. You know, so, uh, yeah, Piers Morgan, man, he's just a smug prick sometimes. Yeah, he's another uh, middle-aged British guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just, really, he's... He's again. He's he's mocking the interview and mocking and mocking them. And look, you know, I mean, listen, people. The worst thing that they do with this is that for years, and maybe this, and some people, if only a few people get something out of this, for years they have been normalizing, normalizing the royal family, even knowing what they what they're about, their racism and whatnot. And that's look. You can talk about all the conspiracies and the pedophilia, whatever, whatever you want to say. But we one thing is clear that they are a racist ass family. That should be obvious, right? But we want to normalize all of that because we want to we we want to treat it like it's a real life Disney movie. We it's just just something alluring about girls are taught to be princesses when they when they you know when they're young. So they just love looking at this and buying into that when this is not real. That's a facade, people. They're a fucking organization. So you know, ah, whatever, y'all, whatever. Oh, you yeah, know all the up. Illuminati stuff, whatever. Ah, <laughs> fair. <laughs> what a bunch of maroons yes <laughs> <laughs> all I know if I was making my uncle they'd be reading about my ass every day cause I wouldn't be I wouldn't take none of that shit please hmm. oh they would've oh They'd they would've had me, me I would've day. been I, they would've got me at the table they, my, they, you know they would've killed they, they would've had to kill me oh yeah no I'd've been out the game a long oh, time oh hell yeah cause I would've I would have been at the table. They would have had footage. They would have had pictures. Me at the table. Look at the queen. Bitch, what you say? Say it one more fucking time. Say it in my face. But don't get the fuck off me. Say it. <laughs> Yo, fuck who you are. I'm the goddamn king and this motherfucker put my feet up and shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit. Bullshit and poppycock, bitch. <laughs> and next thing out of nowhere, we don't know why Corey Coleman had a heart attack. I know. Or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he had an asthma crisis and just yeah. died. We Bitch, don't know why. Take umbrage of what you said to me. Say one more fucking thing to me. Give a, you better get your mama. <laughs> I would have been talking shit. Yeah, next thing, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Coleman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the queen sends her regards. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this bitch. Ha, ha, ha.